WRUN578, Dallas, Texas. I just thought I'd uh, do a brief video on two antennas that I have recently been testing and have really loved. Both of them are commercial tuned. Uh, we have a Comet HT55 on the TYT and a Nagoya 701C, as in Charlie, on the Bufang. Uh, both are commercially tuned and are working very well for GMRS. I am uh, probably 25 or 28 miles away, uh, maybe 20. Uh, I know I'm further than I should be able to reach the uh, repeater on an HT, but I am able to reach the repeater. Antenna is everything. Goes to show that you can use a $20 HT uh, with a commercially tuned antenna and receive the and then, repeater. Uh, when I was on a high rise coming home, uh, I mean, obviously, a lot of people coming out of New Orleans, they was probably partying down uh, Bourbon Street. So, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're doing some sort of work on the bridge and. Uh, had a uh, deputy up there, I guess, you know, just for everybody's safety, being that it was Halloween, and um, they they doing night work on the bridge, so they don't work on it during the day on, at night since it's less traffic, but uh, there was a, uh, a bunch of people just uh, stopping and going, stopping and going, usually it's uh, steady traffic up there. WRUN 578, break. I tried to break in there and didn't get it. That's all right. I know I am able to reach the repeater. Again, we've got a Comet HT55. Uh, you can get these on HRO. And then a Nagoya 701C. And this one I believe I got on Amazon. Uh, the Comet was a little more expensive. It was about, I don't know, $33. And the Nagoya, I don't know, 20 bucks. I don't remember. I've had the Nagoya longer, uh, but I wanted to get a uh, antenna for my TYT and uh, found this Comet. It looks like those guys are done talking. That's alright, I just thought I'd write a, do a short video here.